Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, knocking out our last two box break of 2019-2020 Panini Chronicles Basketball Fat Pack Edition, this is uh, retail hanger packs, random team break number five. I guess different from a hanger box, these are the actual packs in there. Also, you have a chance at an early bird spot, so if you were the one, one of the first 20 right here, you have a chance at an extra spot. So new dice roll, let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and a one, six times. Name on top after six, two, three. And sixth and final time after six, look at that, Oliver. There you go. Ollie, after six times, he was the earliest of birds too. So the early bird catches the worm, gets an extra spot. All right. So now let's assign you a team, everybody, a random team. Five and a four, nine times for this one. One, two, three, four. And ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Aaron down to Jeremy. We do not have a break schedule, Tyler Brenner. After this, um, well, I'll be turning things over to, I'm actually going over a little bit. We're gonna turn things over to Sean. And he'll go through orders and see what's coming up. Whatever sold out, he'll do. All right, so after nine times, we've got the Charlotte Hornets down to the Cavs. All right, so there is uh, the first half right there. Aaron with the Hornets, David with the Jazz, Nick with the Magic, Jeff with the Lakers, you got my Lakers, TJ with the Suns, Marty with the Spurs, Sean Maddock with the Hawks, uh, Juan Pena with the Timberwolves, TJ with the Pistons. Oliver, your early bird spot gets you the Trailblazers. Richard with the Bulls, Oliver with the Wizards, Chad with the Pels, Sean with the Clippers, Bill with the Thunder, uh, Dan with the Nets, John with the Warriors, Josh with the Pacers, Michael with the uh, 76ers, Nick Stober with the Raptors, Marty with the Nuggets, Nick with the Knicks, Nick with the Knicks, Bill with the Celtics, sorry I'm 12, Daniel with the Bucks, Anthony with the Rockets, uh, Rui with the Grizz, Fu with the Heat, Richard with the Mavs, Alex with the Kings, and Jeremy Stackhouse with the Cavs, it's just Jeremy Stack, I want, I want to say Jerry Stackhouse, let's sort these by team right here and we're gonna pause the video allow for a little trading time and when we come back we're gonna see if there's any trades and then the break stick around all right welcome back folks guess what there was a trade Dan and Oliver trading right here so Dan uh, is out of his net spot and into the trailblazer spot put a T next to there for trade in case you're following along at home and the early bird now flies to Brooklyn Tweet, tweet. All right, now, now we can print and rip. Good luck. All right, so this break should take about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Pretty quick. All right, there's the final printout right there. Following along at home, Nets and Trailblazers are the trade. Let's see who draws first blood in it on a Tuesday. Tuesday the 11th, 2020, August, random team five. We blew through this case. We got one case and we couldn't keep it in stock, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you. I guess we'll try to find some more. I know Chronicles hobby boxes have been going crazy on the secondary market, so. So I'm not surprised that these these retail packs here, these fat packs have gone for a lot. All 
Uh, Daniel, this is break number... If I can open this. This is break number five. Come on, man. There's a lot of extra glue right there, I guess. Took a minute or two. Uh, oh, are you in this one, Daniel? Uh, you have, I, th I see with one spot, Daniel Barnes, you got randomized the Milwaukee Bucks. So all those Giannis vet commons will go to you. And all the other Giannis inserts and parallels and whatnot. Which isn't too shabby. Yeah, you're welcome. Good luck. Well, Dodgers, if you're going to come back, I guess now's the time. Bottom of the eighth. Down five runs. Dodgers are capable of putting up a crooked number pretty quickly, so let's see. All right, so I'm only going to be sleeving and top-loading um, Zion and John Morant cards, but I'm setting these cards like Kobe White, other significant rookies aside, that Giannis... And I'll sleeve these up after the break is over. There's a John Morant. But just in the interest of time, we want to be a little, a little extra efficient here. Nice start with a couple John Morants for Oyama. Not that I've seen, Daniel Barnes. I've not seen any numbered parallels in these retail, in these retail packs. They do have the exclusive score inserts, and they have bronze parallels. You can see right there. We've seen a lot of those. But numbered cards, no. That wanted to come along. It can't. You can't come along. There's the bronze right there, so a bronze R.J. Barrett. No, no worries, Daniel. It's all good. Yeah, I mean, you would think they would. I think in the hobby edition they do, right? But I think in this retail edition it does not. I think you get those bronze parallels instead. I do too, John. I like, I like the, those flux cards too. Wait, John, did I ever... I feel like I trailed off. Did I ever... Do we ever finish talking about what I've been watching? You said you were binging some TV show and then I was about to say I was watching something. Maybe I didn't. It was like eight hours ago. I was... Uh, I've been watching a lot of... Uh, watch a lot of crime. Some courtroom dramas over the weekend, folks. I watched... Uh, I watched A Time... Of Grisham. I watched Rainmaker. You guys remember Rainmaker with uh, young Matt Damon? That was good. There's a Pelican for uh, Chad B. I watched uh, A Time to Kill with Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. And uh, Samuel L. Jackson, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Right, John's been watching Luther, which, which I really like too, at least the first season or so. Um, and then I watched uh, The Firm, which was also good. The Firm, if, if you guys have not watched The Firm recently, that is uh, a young Tom Cruise being a lawyer, kind of like A Few Good Men, which is another great courtroom thriller. But... Uh, but it's a, it's a good one. Excellent soundtrack. Excellent score. I forget who the, the pianist is, but it's, it's like this very bluesy, jazzy piano. It's just very simple. It's just one piano. No percussion or anything like that. Really excellent stuff. Could get really tense, too. I love it. It's fantastic. The Firm. 
Yeah, actually, yes. You're right, Brad. R.I.P. Wilfred Brimley. Who was also in The Natural. Was he the coach in The Natural, I think? But yeah, he's in the movie as one of the, the, the firm security guys. Let's get that Hachimura over there. So, yeah, for some reason I got, I got roped into watching, uh, watching courtroom dramas. There, there's an occasional auto in here. This is remember this is these are retail packs, so you can't really expect too much autographs out of here. But yeah, every once in a while we will see an auto. I think in the handful of breaks we've done today, we've seen a few autographs. Uh, I've done Tiger. I did Tiger King when it came out, John. That that's that's both crazy, exciting, entertaining, and and ultimately very sad. I feel bad for the tigers. The people are just bad people. There's no redeeming qualities in any of those people. Were there hor was there horse abuse? Remember the uh, they used to adopt horses and then feed them to the lions. Oh no. Yeah, you can't. Well, I don't know. That's but that's just animal on animal crime, right? Well, no, they put them in the cage with them. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, but that would happen in the wild. <laughs> horses. I mean, if this was the wild. But the problem is they're not in the wild. That's the problem. Apparently, these Flux Zions are selling especially well, Chad B. But yeah, there's no redeeming people in, in that. In Tiger King. Maybe the workers who actually tried to preserve the tiger's lives. The one that got her arm. The one that yeah, they got her arm ripped off. I mean, I think. I was leading tigers to their deaths. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that kind of broke my heart. But the main, the lead characters in that. Terrible. Um, it should be under spotless. Should be under. If you log in with Jaspie's case breaks at gmail dot com, you should be able to see it. Under Google Sheets. Is there not a bookmark there? Maybe not. Playbook Zion. Ooh, so these are prism updates. These are fewer and far between than most of the other stuff. And there's updated stuff. What has to be edited and rehearsed? Tiger King? Yeah, there, there's... I don't know. There's there's a lot of strange things happening there. I guess I guess some 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 folks in Hollywood are trying to make a movie out of it, but do I want to see a movie after after seeing the real thing? Yes. Really? I want to see. I want to see. Will do you Ferrell. still have an appetite for it? I want to see Will Ferrell as Joe Exotic. Is Will Ferrell gonna be in it? Or or okay, I will also accept. Uh, Another Rob, nice one. Uh, Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe as Joe Exotic? I will, accept, I will accept Rob Lowe. If they're going to make it a drama, I want to see Rob Lowe. If they're going to make it funny, we'll... You can't make it funny. I mean, that's just, that's just too sad to be funny. Like, how do you make, like, the guy shooting himself funny? You can't make that funny. The ones that are highlighted, right? Yeah, are, are red. Are unread. Okay. Yeah. So you skipped through some of them? Just, okay. Yeah, yeah, because I have to go through some for that. You know what I do? Click in there. Just go unread. Yeah. Space, label, unread. Might, might automatically do it for you. Unread? Label. Oh, there it is. That's the little code there. So it'll, because I already filled in, if, if they bought other spots, so I already filled those in too. So just go with the unread and you should be good. All right, Sean's actually going through orders on our, on our laptop. Isn't that heavy? This is the stupidest computer. <laughs> It's the only computer that's powerful enough to take on the road I know, it's to do group breaks. 
everything else is. Well, it's I mean, got like the, yeah, it's, it's technically. Got the it's got the processing power of like a small. Country. It's a it's a gaming computer, really. Yeah. Like you could probably run a very high end game on there at the highest of speeds. It's got the ability to run a small government. It could. It could run like small island government, maybe. A laid back small island. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing too crazy. Maybe an island that doesn't have banking. You could probably run it. What's my favorite retail NBA product for 2019-2020? You know, we do a lot of those like filler breaks with mosaic, the mosaic cello packs. I think for a retail product, that's fantastic. I like the hobby editions of those too. Mosaic, I think, has been a pleasant surprise this year. That stuff is really nice. Are we still waiting on that flashback GNC? I thought that'd be sold out by the time Sean. Listen, if I need to, I'll buy it out. Wow. That's my favorite stuff. Literally, my wow. favorite product. Favorite baseball product of the year. Close second, top scrum. Hmm. Top scrum is pretty good. Did you see that eight box mixer? That's a pretty nice one. Four box of 2020 Bowman baseball and four box of Pops Chrome. Right, let me add it. Let me That's a good one. But yeah, that Panini Mosaic, I think all versions, hobby version, retail version, hanger pack for, I, I think those are those are really great. No, that's impossible to find at Walmart. Like, I mean, the way we price it, we, we try to move with the market as closely as possible, but... On eBay, they're just going for stupid amounts of money. It's crazy. Good luck having those not be uh, resealed. Right. Yeah, people reseal these, too. Those are the worst people in the world. They'll do that at Target, too. Like, they'll open these up, and then they'll... I don't know how they do it. If they rip them like this, I guess they couldn't. But there's, there's a way they do it. There's a special place in hell for people like that. Wow. Well, I'm not advocating murder. I didn't say I was going to murder him. Wow. But you're just advocating it anyway. I'm advocating it. Ladies and gentlemen, there are numbered cards in this. Look at this blue Zion Williamson. 73 out of 99. Now remember. Let's go back. Let's, let's, let's call back to the early point of the Exclusive score insert. Exclusive to this set, to this these retail packs, hanger packs right there. Wow, that's the first one I've seen. There you go, nice. That goes to the Pelicans. That's going to be for Chad B. Chad B. Be rolling in that Zion. Really? Yeah, that's not, not going to happen tonight. Now they'll, they'll probably score like three garbage runs in the bottom of the ninth or something like that. John Morant. Oyama with the Grizz. You'll get that one too. And this one too. Do I think Carol killed her husband? Absolutely. No doubt about it. They proved that the uh, that the um, the will was a forgery. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna fly off to uh, I'm gonna fly off to Panama or whatever, and then he magically disappears in a small, untraceable plane in the wilds of the Gulf of Mexico. I don't know what happened. What do they say in 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 murders? Right? Who stands to profit from the murder? Who stands to win from someone's murder? That's more often than not, when it comes to murder, most foul. More often than not, it's someone you know. Murder most foul? Murder most foul, isn't that like something? I, I don't know. It's probably from some sort of some sort of piece of literature that they made me read. The man made me read in high school. You love reading. <laughs> 
I do. I do. Can't wait to read more *Bride's Head* revisited by Evelyn Waugh. Is that the current book? <laughs> I don't. Know. It's a book in like the 1920s <laughs> about about England post World War One and pre World War Two, atonement era. You know the thing is, which is a a beautiful era in England. You talk about that one book uh, all the time. What book? Oh, man. Those time, flux ions are really good too. Oh yeah, love in the time of cholera. That's the one. Yeah, that that's a great book. I've, I I need to reread that. That's a great one. I haven't read that in ages. By Colombian author. Something something Marquez. I don't remember, but but uh, he did a lot of nonfiction stuff about about the uh, the troubles, not in Ireland, but the troubles in uh, in Colombia. There's John Morant. Uh, yeah, I have not seen any other numbered cards in this, unless I'm I don't think I did, unless I missed some on the back, but no other ones had anything that looked different that looked like in my head was a parallel. I would always check the back, but wouldn't see anything. You know what I mean? Shipping team will find it if if I did happen to miss one, but I, I, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I think they're fewer and far between. These scorecards are exclusive to the set, though. Yes, Joe P. The basketball mixer is going to go tonight. Yeah, if you read the titles, uh, Joe P., I, I wrote down what, what needs to happen for it to fill. I know no one likes reading, reading except for me, but it's all there. It says at the end, there'll be the title of the break, and at the end, it'll be like the cello pack X, X, and Y will have to fill for it to break. I think we're at the last one. Murder? Are you talking murder? Yes. Murder most foul? The foulest. I don't know. No, it's not. Um, I don't know any more Goodfellas quotes. The ones that don't have cursing in it. They all have cursing in it. I thought you, I thought you were saying I was all right, Spider. Um, that's the second Taco Fall prism that goes to Bill in the Celtics. Prism update. Nick Jass made a, made a good point today. Why don't they just do Prism Series One, Series Two, and then an update or something like that? I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, it's not a bad idea. There's James Harden, score Anthony. I feel like we're seeing more of those score parallels. Than in previous racks, previous bracks. I'm gonna call them bracks now. Let's do some group bracks. You gonna brack, bro? Oh, R.J. Barrett. Oh, it was flipped around. It's a flux, though. Those fluxes are nice. They didn't. They haven't even released a flux yet. It doesn't even exist. So, so hopefully, it's a little sampler, right here. A little sampler platter. That goes to the Knicks. Nick Stober with the Knicks. There's uh, Zion from in XR. That XR design. I could use some XR basketball in my life. They, they, they'll release something like that. Pels. Chad B. Once again, getting all those Pels. Another Pel. Hero. Rui. Ja. In Espanol, Ha. Hammerant. Hola, me llamo Ha Hammerant. There's Zion, Williamson, in French. There's Luka Doncic, and it's this Zion's turned around. What's up with this? This autograph is Garrett. No, it doesn't say that. It's I know. <laughs> Sorry. Phoenix, I, I wanted it so bad. I wanted to say this autograph is guaranteed by Panini. It, was, it, it wasn't. Sorry. I apologize. Chad B with that Phoenix Zion. That score Doncic is exclusive to this set. If you saw one previously, they will all ship.
LeBron James, Darius Garland, and our last little bit here. LBJ, Carson, Marcus, PJ, and Nikhil Alexander Walker. El uh, elements? Essentials design right here, not elements. And there you have it. And there you go. That was Random Team 5. Two boxes of that 2019 Panini Chronicles Basketball uh, Fat Pack Edition. Those retail fat packs. We don't have any more. I think Jason has some left on the Personals channel. At Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram Live. So check it out. If you're watching live, he, he's live right now. So ask him about it. I think he has a few packs they can buy just straight up. But no more group breaks of this for now. But we'll try to get some more. This went, this went so quickly. I think we feel like we have to try to find some more. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.